Hello, hi, what's up? Welcome to my channel. There is quite a few of you who are new, so if that's you, hi, my name's Leandra. I am so happy to see you and welcome you to this little community or space that I am creating. I'm going to be vlogging a couple of days of my week. I don't want to do the whole week because I just keep doing that and that will get repetitive. It will get repetitive at some point. So I'm going to try to do a couple of days mainly because I wanted to vlog my weekend this last weekend that passed and I didn't get to do that and here is why. Um, I have my memo due. My trial brief was due yesterday last night at 11.59 p.m. I thought it was going to be a little bit easier to work through it, but I got really bogged down with it. Like I spent the entire day or the entire weekend just kind of sitting on my bed, sitting on my desk, sitting in my living room, just writing my essay, rewriting, hating it, crying a little bit, and then rewriting it again, and then hating that, crying a little bit. It was a nice little cycle I had going on. I had a nice little cycle. I filmed a little clip last night that sums all of this perfectly. I thought the word count for my trial brief was 2,250. All day, today, all day, I spent the day just stressed, cutting, snip, 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 words, left and right, left and right, left and right. And then I go right before I submit and I check again. And the word them is actually 2,550. I don't know how I saw the other thing, but now it's due in two hours. I'm a little stressed. I've been out of chips. I ran out of my vegan cupcakes. My period is hella heavy today. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give up. I also didn't film last week. So this is technically the third or fourth week. I don't even know. Maybe the third or fourth week of school at this point. Last weekend was also like a very weird weekend for me. I just felt down the entire weekend, a little depressed, feeling a little like I wanna, you know? But then my period came. So it's kind of like, was I really depressed or was it my period? Anyways, some of my despair last week was basically that I was getting used to just like the humdrum of law school. Someone posted on the law school subreddit and I was like, that's it. That is literally what I've been feeling. And they basically were saying that now that they've entered their second semester of 1L, they have been, you know, they've taken the test and now it's just kind of blah. And that's what it was. It was just blah. You wake up, you read, and it's blah. You go to class and it's blah. Especially with my classes this semester, I was getting really sad about the fact that I wasn't passionate about anything. Um, and that scared me a little bit because I, you know, kind of have to convince myself, you know, help myself up to read readings about, you know, constitutional law. I'm not necessarily shouting from the rooftop about my love for constitutional law or my love for property law. And that was getting a little bit scary for me because that's not something I want to be doing for the next three years that I am in law school. So I was kind of thinking like, should I drop out? Um, I don't want to even think that because I have immigrant parents and they don't understand what that is. They don't understand. I can't drop out. I can't. Um, but <laughs> I talked to some like two L's and three L's and apparently that's this is a normal feeling and they were reassuring me that when I become a 2L and a 3L, I get more flexibility about what kind of classes I take. I get to take classes that I'm actually passionate about and I'm really excited for that. It is a little bit strange though that we are at this point, we're kind of supposed to kind of know what we want to do, but we're taking these classes that I, I don't think necessarily help too much <laughs> to help me make that decision, but it is what it is and I am trying to settle in. I just got out of my first class for the day let's look at my notability i have not too much to do since i actually did submit my memo last sunday this sunday at uh 11 p.m i submitted my memo so i have a little bit of free time now after i'm done with classes which is so nice because <laughs> i was miserable i was miserable so let's see we've got obviously class all day today i have a meeting with my career counselor for interview prep. I have to read for constitutional law today. And then my day is basically done. Also, I'm so happy because I got to wash my hair. I left my hair dirty for like three weeks. Usually I try to last about two weeks and then wash it but i ended up pushing it to three weeks because i was kind of doing my paper and every time i would be like i should wash my hair it was like one in the morning and i want to go to sleep so i can wake up and do the whole cycle all over again um so i washed yesterday so we are dangerous free for at least three days before they catch up with me i also got 
some nice little anxiety juice delivered this morning from Dunkin. It's their iced coffee with oat milk. I put four coconut shots in there. I think it's too much. My stomach really hurts and I am on my period. So the mix of, you know, the caffeine making you want to go to the restroom and your period making you want to go to the restroom. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop right there. And um, how people that can be very- Just got out of constitutional law, last class of the day. I think it is weirdly ironic that um, the syllabus for my constitutional law class ended up like on slavery during the Black History Month. It was fun to read Dred Scott opinion. Okay, it was not, it is a disgusting opinion, like, it's actually infuriating, but I had conversations about it in class, I didn't participate because I don't want to participate in that right now, but got out of class, checked online for, like, my course classes for my writing class, wow, can I speak, and there's already the materials for the appellate brief has been posted and I'm just like please no more I can't take any more <laughs> enough I'm so tired like Jesus Christ I mean at least it's a one two month one month and a half turnaround because the trial brief was three weeks it was a three week turnaround where you had to learn how to like write a trial brief that was rough that's why I was just kind of stressed out a little bit last week a little stressed out this weekend or last weekend because of how quick it is at least it's almost two months to learn how to write the appellate brief i'm not looking forward to the research aspect of it though but hopefully since i kind of already kind of understand lexis and westlaw and bloomsburg it will be a lot easier hopefully i'm also at the weird stage in my hair journey where it is growing out currently like it's grown a lot since i cut it in december and i have like these little bangs and they were up here now they're down here and i don't know what to do with them because i don't want to straighten my hair it rains here waste um so it's just making me look like a mushroom i don't hate it about to head to campus really quickly i forgot that i had to do one of those like uh monitoring symptom thing we take covid tests and then they track us throughout the week so i get basically tested two to four times a week sometimes five depending on what's going on that week it's really helpful because i actually hung out with some of my fellow classmates last last weekend and it's good to know that we are all being tested continuously throughout the week so if someone tests positive they know and then they're taken care of not like taken care of but like you know taken care of we can all like hang out like, kind of like safely um without infecting each other um not in large groups of course socially distance everything like that but it's it's nice to know that at least when you are doing that everyone is 100 does not have covid so i'm gonna rush to campus right now get tested because the thing closes at six and if i don't do it then they do all of these consequences and i don't want any of that so i'm gonna go right now good morning i guess what i mean by i won't be vlogging every day this week just means some days are gonna have more or less talking than the other this is one of those days it's tuesday just got out of my only class for today my writing class and i'm about to head to the library i have it scheduled from 1 p.m till 7 30 p.m so we're just gonna we're gonna be there a while doing everything that i need to do for tomorrow and if i can get some stuff done for thursday too that might be uh good but we'll see what we can get done um but i'm packing my stuff i have all my stuff in my bag i do need to get like a backpack because you know this thing i'm scared that's gonna rip and it has like my laptop it has my ipad it has my entire life in here but also i'm vain so the fact that it says this i like but before i head off i just wanted to talk a little bit about some thoughts i had yesterday last night when i was journaling so i had this I don't want to call it a revelation or something but i think that being a millennial which i'm sure is what i am and being like seeing part of like gen z culture is that we are just so used to like laughing and making jokes about our own trauma that yesterday i made a joke to myself about 
uh, trauma that I'd suffered and my brain just was not okay with that it was not having it at all literally it was like you know like those screeching like halting sounds that they put in like movies or like you youtube funny videos or something like that it was kind of like that like everything just kind of stopped and paused and i was like wait miss girl when did we decide that we weren't gonna laugh about trauma anymore because i don't think i'm in the mental space to not laugh about this anymore but she just wasn't having it so i was immediately put into this position where it wasn't like i was talking to myself about my trauma but more it was like i was listening to a friend tell me about their trauma and it just made me so sad and i was like crying for a while because honestly some of the stuff that i have been through mostly the only thing that i was really worried about yesterday was mostly relationship trauma from my last relationship most if not all of it is so incredibly traumatic that it's just i guess i never fully dealt with it to the extent where i apologized to myself and just kind of felt bad for myself for having to deal with that because if a friend is coming to you and then telling you that their boyfriend is doing this and doing that doing that and you just feel so like like i'm so sorry that this has happened to you i'm so sorry that you were put in this situation like i'm just so sorry and i guess because in some certain situations i feel like i did it to myself that when i I think about it, I, it's hard for me to do that because I'm like, well, you know, girl, you did, could have did it to yourself. So there's, there's nothing, you can't feel bad about it. Um, you can't be mad about it. You can't be blah, 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 because you did this to yourself. But, you know, I didn't cause my trauma. Like I, just because I, I was in that relationship, just because I, you know, stayed in that relationship doesn't mean I deserved that trauma. It doesn't mean that I can't feel bad that I had to deal with some of those things because it's just, was not okay in the least bit like not even okay at all and it's not in like apologizing in saying that well damn that sucks but genuinely being i am sorry that this happened to you and one of the things that were popping up from my mind um is my italy trip and i've mentioned this here and there on the vlog about my italy trip and if you can go back in my videos you can watch that i still don't know if i want to keep those up i honestly think that i should take them down um because i just was not happy at all <laughs> during that trip like at all um uh, like not even a little bit um and the only reason why i don't want to take it down is because the trip was so entirely traumatic due to my ex-boyfriend's behavior that i don't remember it <laughs> and the reason why this is sad is because italy was the only place i've ever wanted to go in my entire life like it was the goal place ever like i have nothing else after that i don't i don't have if you ask me where i want to go my dream place it was and always will be italy and before i went i saved up a lot of money to go and and have that week in italy to just live my best life and just live out i guess a dream i guess is what i would say and the fact that I just don't remember it because of somebody else's behavior and because if there even was like a good moment it was so incredibly attached to a bad moment like a really traumatic moment that I just just decided that it was more convenient to forget the whole trip which sucks my mind just does that sometimes I'm working on it um but it's just it's just so sad like that's just so devastating like I just I feel like I've just never been but I know I have and I'll see like pictures and I'm like oh wait yeah I did do that and I think the other day I was thinking like I would love to write in a do a gondola ride I've done a gondola ride I've done that like it's just it's so sad and I feel bad that I had to deal with that and I feel sorry. I am sorry to myself that I was in that situation and I did not deserve that. And one day I'll go back and we do the entire Italy. But that was one of the things that I was kind of like, yeah, shit, that is so unfortunate. And um, anytime I would kind of bring it up in my relationship, the problem was that he would realize that he, he wasn't acting well at all but he wouldn't want to talk about it because he was so embarrassed by his own behavior that anytime i would bring it up he would downplay it like oh it wasn't that big of a deal because he was embarrassed except now you're downplaying my trauma and it's just kind of like you know the point is talk to yourself like you would your friend <laughs> like your best friend that even though she does dumb stuff you would still probably beat up someone for 
going to the library. We're gonna go to study. Yeah. Quick little fit. I bought this sweater from the thrift store. I was about to buy things from Shein and then I was like, don't do that. Just go to the thrift store. So I went, they were having a little bin sale and I bought these and a couple other items that I may show you guys in this vlog. Bought this one and just my pants. You guys have already seen one. They're the bell bottom ones. And then I'm wearing my little slippers. I think I'm getting used to the North Carolina weather because it's like 37 degrees or something like that. And I stepped outside and I was like, oh, it's kind of warm out. <laughs> anyway. Got my bag, you know, and we are off. It's literally my birthday. That is so crazy. I am 23 years of age today. I am old and it feels good. It feels good to be 23. I'm going to be 30 soon. Okay, that was a big jump. Hold on. That That's not even how you round up. <laughs> but I feel great. I feel good to be 23 years old. I remember when I was like in middle school or high school and my birthday used to like be a source of anxiety for me because like you had those people in your school who were like really popular and when it was their birthday it would always kind of like be a thing at school like they would come their friends would get them balloons their friends would get them like cupcakes make a big deal in class and like you knew like your, your birthday was not going to be like that at all because if you were anything like me, you did not have a lot of friends in middle school or high school. Like I had one best friend and that was it, she was awesome, but I did not have a big group of friends. So all the time that would always be a big source of disappointment for me on my birthday. So I'd always pretend to not care about my birthday, but I did definitely care about that. I did definitely, definitely care about that. I stopped caring a lot when I, came into like uh, college, like undergrad, I stopped caring. I kind of cared a little bit, you know, but then I had like friends and they would like ice me and all this other stuff. And it wasn't until like senior year, like last year on my birthday that I was just kind of like, eh, it doesn't really matter. I don't really see the point of making my day, my birthday about other people and what they're doing for me. Like it's literally my day. <laughs> it's literally my day. Why am I gonna let you or whoever just, just make my day about other people? It makes no sense. So this birthday it doesn't even it doesn't even matter because i'm literally in a new space a new place by myself and it's just like i'm an adult and it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter at all and it's funny because i have this cute clip in my hair i hope you guys can see that um hopefully you guys can see that it's from the kids section. I bought it yesterday. They really be doing it for the kids, you guys. This morning, I was looking at my camera roll and I found some old pictures of me um, from when I was a kid. So when I moved here from Cameroon, Africa, for those who are new, that's where I'm like originally born and raised. We didn't bring anything when we came like, at all, which is kind of sad. We should have brought some stuff, but we didn't bring any pictures. All of it stayed in our old home back home. And you know, funny thing is I have a large home back at my residence in my home country. And then I came here and everyone thought I lived in a hut, which is, which goes to show uh, the way America teaches its children. Anyway, found some pictures of myself from when I was younger and I'm gonna put them on the screen because they're kind of funny. There's this one picture, it's me and my family, my like complete immediate family without my dad there and um i just i don't know it's just such a cute photo i remember my mom used to have those like uh, those two-piece sets all the time she was absolutely styling all of the time um one of the main things i remember about her because she left to come to the united states earlier than all of us i think it was about five to six years earlier than us um so when i what I remember the most about her was that like she used to wear these two piece sets and she used to have these like little head those headbands or uh, hair turbans I don't really know how you call them that would go all the way up and um she always had red nails and big hair that's what, how I remembered her in the photo there's my brother who's sitting um I'm literally hanging on my mom's like thigh uh, my sister and then my other sister who's still back home and she watches my videos I don't know if she understands them because they all speak French back home, but hi. Um, and then my cousin who is all the way to the right of the photo. And then there is this one photo. <laughs> Jean on Jean, baby. I was Jean on Jean here. I don't, the hair, the, the, 
the shoes you know i remember what those shoes felt like i really do i remember what they felt like and you, i thought i was styling i thought i was styling you couldn't tell me shit. i thought i was styling i was i was i was on it and those are the clothes that my mom would send from uh, america to back home and usually when you do that they think it's like really like great clothes we usually think it was like the best thing ever like you could literally go and get stuff from like the 99 cent store and send it back home and they would appreciate it so much i thought i was shitting on hoes here shit no hopes look at the hair the little bands look at that ugh ugh the little freely so oh my god oh my god oh my god anyway i got class <laughs> look at my baby look at her i refuse to think that it is a coincidence that now that i'm doing better mentally she is also doing better i mean she still has her little brown spots um and i had to cut some areas because they were brown but she is growing so much so much like all these leaves right here these all this little corner right here she's just like she's flourishing right now and i'm so happy i bought her this um air humidifier misting thing because she was not she was she was down bad y'all she was down bad so i bought this and i've been using it in the house and it's helping her and it's helping me. I did not realize how dry my nostrils were until I started using this thing. I heard it's also supposed to be really good for your skin. It keeps the moisture up, blah, 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 blah. So consider getting it. I have my second class in like five minutes. Exciting stuff. It's property law. Obviously did my readings yesterday and we'll see how that goes. That class is a little bit like slow for me just because it's just slow. We're talking about property. This is not really anything that exciting about property. Like, no one's really like, oh my God, property. Um, but, you know, as is the law. got out of class i went back to home depot and got more of the loctite cans because i had four and i used it and i decided that i wanted to be even more fluffy so i went and got two more um but i just used one and just added in more fluff i just feel like it looks like cotton candy it also looks like really chewy like laffy taffy and i just like it it looks like clouds it looks like bubbles i dig it so much but this is what's going on. I'm going to let it dry for the next hour. After it dries, I got this paint. I was going to leave it white at first until I got every other decor in this apartment. But I don't know when that's going to be because, you know, we're using Facebook Marketplace to decorate stuff now. I just decided to do whatever I want. And this color really called to me. So I got this one. I got two of them. So we're going to spray paint. We also got some of like painter's tape because you know i was thinking about just spraying it and then hoping for the best that it wouldn't get on the mirror but i decided to not be dumb today other than that today i just have to read for torts and then i had to read for property um for property i kind of feel like we probably won't get through the material because we didn't even get to it today um but i'll still read for it and i'm glad that i don't have to read for constitutional law because obviously i always do it today <laughs> but the, the quick turnaround between wednesday and thursday is what kills us i don't know why we don't have classes on monday wednesday friday instead of having all our doctrinal classes on monday wednesday thursday because just like that quick turnaround is just jarring but i'm glad i don't have to read for constitutional law today because we didn't get to everything i read yesterday we didn't get to it at all actually barely touched it so we're gonna do that tomorrow which is awesome because i'm like ahead for that class and i don't have to read for it you guys know i'm all about like you know like crystal spirituality being you know loving everybody being non-judgmental all of that stuff but i realized that i am super judgmental my best friend has got me on hinge because she was on hinged and i just i got on hinge to see what it was all about and I am so mean. I don't know if it's because it's just like you have so many options so you can just be as picky as as nitpicky as you want, but I am so mean to these men. Like I will see a really nice like a profile, a guy's like really good looking and then, you know, boom. You get to the the little description 5 foot 7. What? 5 foot 7. You're a gnome. I can't. I cannot no. I can't. Oh my god, I can't I can't be looking down at you like this. No. <laughs> I know that's mean. I feel like that's so mean, but it's just, it's just like 
I, I just, there's just something about it that I just can't. If you're tall, I want someone who's tall and hot and fit. That's all I want right now. Like if you're tall and you look like you take care of yourself and you're fit, cause you know, I'm hot and I take care of myself and I want to be with someone who is hot, tall and takes care of himself. If you got a, hot, a six pack, hit my line. If you're, t especially if you're tall. If you're tall, yes. On that same note, I was thinking like, what if my spirit guides are sending me like the love of my life, but he's just short. And then I thought like, why would they do that? Also, I understand that it's the south, but you know, first you look in a profile and then boom, a fish. No, no. Then you keep looking, boom, an American flag. Wait a minute. You keep looking, boom, conservative. Wait, 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 wait. But then again, I can't in, you know, in good sense say this because I just ended a relationship with a Trump voting conservative. So. I tried to teach basic human rights to you and I failed. Don't drag me. <laughs> Do not drag me in the comments. 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 I thought I could fix it. I thought I could fix it. I could not though. It, it was too strong. It was, it was too, mm, it was too strong in there. It was too strong. It was one against like five family members. It was just, I was gonna lose. I just didn't know it. I didn't know it and that is my lesson. Great teaching moment here actually before I go and relax and then read is that I wasn't aware of the voting situation until later on in our relationship and it may feel like if you're in an interracial relationship you shouldn't start talking or you shouldn't talk about race <laughs> in your relationship because you feel like it doesn't matter. At least for me when I started my relationship I felt like it didn't matter. It does. So go ahead and just start having that conversation because i found out and i was kind of like wait a minute but i tried my best to be as people like to say you know don't hate people for you know the way that they voted or whatever whatever but obviously with all the trump stuff just everything that comes with him as an entire person is just absolutely disgusting race wise is fan base i'm just gonna say fan base because that's what he has he has stands he has stands basically and they're crazy but everything that comes with that so I was like, okay, sure, maybe. And then as we started having the conversations that we probably should have had earlier on, it became very clear that there was just something that just was not clicking. And as much as I tried to explain as much as possible, like, hey, look, you you, ha you get so many more chances to live your life, to to be successful. Like you have a pedestal. You you have been like you have been given so much stuff that other kids don't. As many times as I tried to explain that, it just wasn't clicking. And that is also, that is one of the reasons why we ended up breaking up. So if you're in an interracial relationship or you're thinking about getting in one i hate to say this because i feel like black women already have so many troubles when it comes to just like everything especially relationships but do think about having those conversations earlier on especially when it comes to family members and the things that you know they'd be saying at the dinner table things like that have those conversations earlier on um yeah okay study break to say I love this song I love this song so much <laughs> dinner for the birthday girl today courtesy of my sister who said the birthday girl does not cook at all today except she told me when it was like 5 p.m. so we don't have to cook dinner which is awesome I'm so happy I got some Thai food this is red curry it has tofu in it um tofu fried rice fried tofu and um vegetables uh rolls with a little sauce and i'm so excited this shit looks buzzing i'm really happy it's been a really good birthday today i've had a great day even though i was in class all day uh, i had a great day 
Uh, my sister bought me dinner. She's also letting me buy some stuff off of Amazon. My mom sent me some birthday money and I've just been very loved today. And I've been loved by other people, been loved by myself, and it just feels awesome. I have some incense going right now. I have my little candle going, my heart, I think it's heart chakra candle going. And this is my favorite incense. It's the India temple incense. Uh, smells just like temples in India. It's my favorite. This one, it looks like this. I bought this big pack on Amazon. It smells amazing. I love it so much. Relax me like crazy. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go to bed. Me and Mr. Avocado about to go to bed and wake up tomorrow, which apparently tomorrow's Thursday. I thought today was Thursday. <laughs> uh, but we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Thursday. First class is over for the day. It's between like the little break and yeah, it's Thursday. I swear, yesterday felt like a Thursday. Today I don't have much going on outside of a whole day of classes and then I have like a happy hour for one of the student organizations that I am representative for. Uh, other than that, it will just be classes and that. I'm glad that I don't have to read today though. I think I will um, do my what the fuck is going on review day today instead of tomorrow because tomorrow I'm busy. I have a networking event from like one to four. Uh, so. I think it would be best for my own sake if I just do it today. <laughs> I posted my recent video just now and um, one of you guys said to take this library down, this thing back here. And I think I will be doing that so I can give the lamp some space to just do what it needs to do and shine like it should. Um, the only thing is how will people know that I'm cultured and listening to Solange? How are they gonna know if I don't display it? <laughs> I'm gonna try to sell the little thing. I also have another one that I maybe tr will try and sell, but I will be taking this down, to, not today, sometime this weekend, which I also will be filming my weekend, so stick around for that. And yeah. So this is just what the mirror looks like right now. And I love it so much. I love it specifically because it looks like a mess. That's exactly what I wanted. It's exactly why I like it. I like it so much. The color, I it just, let me like back up and then you guys can see how it just fits the space. This is it from like when you walk into my, my apartment from the door, obviously, from one of the doors. And it's just like, I mean, come on, look at this. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. My sister let me order coffee this morning. So I got Dunkin' again, but this time they got my order right. Cause yesterday or a couple days ago when I ordered, I ordered iced coffee and then I ordered a big box of coffee and they forgot to give the guy my big box of coffee. So I just ordered a an iced coffee, original blend, oat milk, coconut swirl, equal, less ice. And I'm going to say this, I think that Dunkin' is better than Starbucks. I just, at least for right now, because I feel like they have nothing to lose. They just give you a big portion. Like this is a medium. They just give you like a big ass portion and they give you a shit ton of caffeine. They have nothing to lose. They don't care. And it's cheaper. It's so much cheaper. I love being the last kid. I feel like it's the best position that you could be in. If you're the first kid, I know you've got trauma. I know you've got trauma. Go to therapy. Go to therapy, baby. You are an experiment. <laughs> It's just that there's so much, there's just so much joy in being the last kid. I'm the baby of the family. I'm the baby. I need to be taken care of. Even when I'm like 50, I need to be taken care of. They, they have a duty of care. The funniest thing is happening in my class right now, um, which is why I'm like talking. So you can use like a pass if you don't want to talk in class for one day or something. So a couple people use their passes, but the person that was next wasn't ready. And honestly, it's constitutional law. We're all just kind of like, Ooh, when it comes to like speaking in my class, uh, at least I am, like I don't mind. When it gets to be my turn, I will speak obviously, but it's just hard and his questions are hard. There's another person right after that that didn't know they were gonna go. So we're all asking questions because <laughs> class is about to be over in like five minutes. So people have been steadily asking questions for the last 10 minutes so that we can like run the clock and save that person from having to speak this time. It's hilarious. It's the 1L camaraderie that we need to survive. Hello, I'm about to end Thursday. I said I wasn't gonna speak a lot today, but I just can't shut up. I just can't shut up. Anyway, I did my nails at home. I'm gonna show you guys the right one because that's the least hand that I fucked up on. You already know, actually, no. 
The left one is pretty good. Right one, we're just not gonna talk about it. It's gonna fuck it up from back here. <laughs> but this is what I did. These are still messed up. I need to get better at them, but I wanted to get um, like the little funky cute nails that is all over my Pinterest board with like a bunch of designs and stuff. Then I remember I could just buy nail polish online and you can get like a UV ray light thingy that they use at the the, the nail salon. Uh, like I got like a small portable one. I'll show you guys. So this is the one that I got. It's just like a small little UV ray thingy. And then I ordered uh, just like a row of like I don't know, just cute little pastel colors. Then I realized that when I was in middle school or elementary school, I used to be obsessed with these little nail stickers. And I used to love them so much. I put them in my nails and I thought they were so cute. And I bought them. They're adorable. Like, look at these. They're so cute. The funny thing is I turned 23 and all I've done <laughs> this vlog is do a bunch of kid stuff. Like shop in the kid section, get my little my little hair tie from the kids sections. I'm telling you guys, they're doing it for the kids. That's that. I'm ending Thursday. I'm gonna go probably on the treadmill and then enjoy the rest of the Aquarius in New Moon. <laughs> that was the New Moon in Aquarius. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Mercury is in retrograde in Aquarius right now. I cannot speak. Um, I have here in the slides a, um, a reminder of the, the circuits from last semester. We talked about this some. What did she just say for the last hour? <laughs> Every day that goes on in this legal research class, I just I just realized that being a litigator is not for me, baby. Holy crap. Slip laws, public laws, private laws, all these types of volumes. Oh my god, I missed days where you could just use Google Scholar. Legal research is a doozy, but we're gonna take on the challenge. We're gonna we're gonna take it on. I wanted to go to the store and return this plank, one of these planks, um, floating shelves, back to Amazon because it's due today. But I have a networking event in about an hour, so I'm gonna continue researching um, like the firms. I know most of them already, but I like researching them and then getting some like ready questions that will make me stand out and make them want to give me a job. Please hire me. Please hire me <laughs> so i'm gonna do that right now and then go to the uh networking session it's like from one to four so it's pretty long yes. <laughs> housemate a new roommate i decided to adopt a cat from the shelter for my birthday so that's why i've been outside of just like saving money i've been not wanting to spend any money because it's expensive to have her in this building i'm so happy i wasn't planning on it but then i went to like one of the shelters and i saw her as she's an older cat and i have a very very big soft spot for older cats they tend to not be adopted as much because they're older and you know the kittens are brand new and fresh and cute and that and also black cats so if you ever if for some odd reason you ever wonder how just like being black has a negative connotation black cats do not get adopted as much because of the negative stereotypes that comes with them but I decided to adopt her. She is 10 years old. Her name right now is Grace Kelly, and she's currently exploring the house. I don't want to move too fast because I just want to stare at her. I'm so obsessed with her. But yeah, she's just kind of like walking around. Um, when she's around me, she doesn't meow. But as soon as she goes into the room and I'm not in there, she starts meowing. Um, so I'm so I'm obsessed. I have a I'm a mom. <laughs> I'm a mother. I love. Oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh, you're a, oh, I would die for you. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> oh, you're such a queen. <laughs> yeah, say hi. <laughs> I know, oh my God, I can't. Oh, my face makes me sweet, sweet, sweet. I don't want to play 
Show me how you do it. I don't promise you. All right, good people. I think this is the end of this vlog. Um, got my cat and she is enjoying my heated blanket right now. So she doesn't even care that I moved away from the room. She's warm, she's relaxed, she's on the bed. She's adorable. I would die for her, I would kill for her. And yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm filming my weekend, so you guys won't miss anything. You have me all week, basically. That's about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching and spending your very precious time with me. I appreciate it so much. There's a lot of you guys who are new, who are just kind of coming in. And I don't think that it's a coincidence that at the time where I feel more comfortable expressing my true authentic self is when I'm drawing more people in who are expressing their authentic self too. So I'm really happy about that. I'm happy to have you guys on this channel and I can't wait to continue on this journey with you guys. Follow me on Instagram if you want to. You don't have to, but you can if you want and you can always reach me on there. Don't be mad at me if you have sent me a message and I haven't gotten back to you. I just realized literally a couple of days ago that Instagram has two folders, like a primary and a general folder. Didn't know that, never looked. So there's a bunch of messages in my general i guess that i just never saw so if i'm not a, i'm not a bitch <laughs> if you send me a message and i see it i will reply to it i really will so i love you guys thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate you and i will see you guys in the next video bye